Hello guys, so welcome back to our lab nine. This is basically the second recording with the third experiment. So in that uh, recording, we're gonna explore or study the relation between uh, IC, I'm sorry, VCE and VB. It's the transfer characteristics of the BGT. Again, I said that the transfer characteristic is, is dependent on the circuit because it's something relation, a relation between something in the output with something in the input. You, the inputs and the output definition dependent on the user. Okay, so in that case here, in that circuit, basically, uh, I choose, you know, uh, VCE as V output and VBE as V, uh, as v input. So again, I'm gonna change VBE step by step and, you know, uh, uh, it will me measure the corresponding VCE. So basically we need parameter sweep as usual. So simulate, and it's a simulation VBE. We're gonna change it from zero to one with very small step 0.01, okay? And the output is VC. And to make your life easy, both here, you know, uh, a probe, a voltage probe this time, not, uh, once you bought the probe, when you do the parameter sweep, it will, uh, the voltage here, the corresponding voltage, which is VCE, will appear automatically in the output in here, okay? So I'm getting the, the next is not shown, so we're gonna maximize and we'll try to bring this down in here. Run. Okay, we have it here. This is just like the, the ones in the lecture. Although this is of course, of course more practical. The one in the lecture has many uh, assumptions, like for example, the transition between, you know, cut off and active is really, uh, is, uh, is not smooth. So we have very linear, you know, characteristic in, in active. And again, the transition between active and saturation is also, uh, uh, you know, uh, is also smooth here, okay? So it's not perfect line in between. So let's export this to Excel and wait for, uh, you know, some seconds. Here we have it here. So this is basically the input VBE. It is the output VCE. Insert and yes, it's in here. Okay. So just like what we studied in the lecture, this is basically the cutoff region, okay? And look, whenever the transistor is in cut off, VCE will be equal to VCC. VCC, remember, it's 15, which is basically 14 point, you know, <laughs> whatever lines you have. And here the transistor is in the saturation region. And look, the voltage is very small. Actually, our, our approximation for the, for the saturation region that VCE is equal to 0.2 is, is really big for what, what, what we are seeing in here. So basically, the voltage is here is around 0.03 is really very small, okay? But still, it's a, broke, it's a good approximation, it's a point two and it's acceptable. The active region is not perfect linear like what we studied in the lecture, you know? Because basically, the, the, the ones that we studied in the lecture, the, the, the characteristics that we studied there is based on basically the constant voltage model of the diode. Is that the diode is perfect, you know, whenever it reaches 0.7, the, the voltage will not change VBE and it will remain 0.7 all the time. Of course, that's not, you know, the most accurate. And, you know, there is a relation between IC and VBE. This relation is exponential. It's not perfect, like it's a constant voltage model. So you will have, you know, uh, some transition here, you know, some non-linearity at the beginning and at the end of the active region. This is basically the active region in between here, okay? But in the middle of the active region, you can say it's almost linear, okay? So basically you're gonna copy this, uh, you know, graph and paste it in here. Let's exit the full screen, uh, you know, in the manual. Okay, guys, this was basically the transfer characteristic of the BGT. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next lab. bye-bye.